The Las Vegas Raiders secondary will be much improved in 2021. Defensive backs coach Ron Miles coming over with defensive coordinator Gus Bradley is big. They both have great track records, but half their track records make them much better than Paul Gunther and his staff. I can't wait to see what they do with Trayvon Mullen and healthier Damon Arnett at cornerback. Safety Jonathan Abram will be better in his role in the box, too. Depending on how Arnett is, cornerback Casey Eric can end up outside or in the slot. And while I expect Trayvon Merrick to ball out right away, he will at least make the free safety position better than it was with Eric Harris. So the Raiders secondary isn't just getting better because they hired a great defensive coordinator and defensive backs coach, signed a corner, and drafted a free safety. It's getting better because of how bad the guys they were replacing are. So let's take a look at just how bad it was. That way we'll see how much better it's going to be in the future. We start with Joyner who wasn't all bad. You have to play the run well as a slot corner and Joyner did that. Free safety is his natural position, so with his instincts, he's going to sniff out jet sweeps. He'll get you on the run up the middle with the run blitz. And whatever run you have planned to the opposite side, he'll chase down. Here he goes again and this play has no chance. Joyner may be small, but he's physical and aggressive, so life in the box is not too much for him. The free safety by nature is also used to reading the quarterback's eyes, so he's good in zone coverage, punishing receivers as soon as they catch the ball therefore separating them from the ball on contact. And making plays on the ball when they get a good break on it. Watch him read the quarterback's eyes all the way to the catch point. Can't help but notice how many interceptions he could have had if he was a little taller. On this one, he has a better idea of where the ball is going than the receiver. Joiners and natural in zone coverage. But in man coverage, not so much. Third down becomes third and joiner for opposing offenses. First down, here he's going to sag far off his man, but he doesn't have the speed to close the distance before the ball gets there. He gets shook at the line of scrimmage for the separation on this one. And if he can't stay with guys on normal routes, What's going to happen on the scramble drill? Oh yeah, they'll go at him on third down near the goal line too. And since he's only 5'8", he's very fadeable. And that causes him to give up big plays. Put a guy with decent height in the slot and Joyner has no chance. Give me that ball, fool. You know I caught it. Joiner's speed or lack thereof also hurts him. He can't run across the field with receivers or anywhere with them for that matter. Whoever the slot corner will be this year will be able to stop something. Joiner couldn't stop anything. 
now we're on to Eric Harris who's made some plays here and there. He's going to claim a hit victim on this one. Oh. Here he gets a gift on an overthrow from then Chargers quarterback Phillip Rivers. And it looks like he knows what to do with the ball when he gets it. Here he's going to jump a short route and take it to the house. And he's going to do it again here from a little longer distance. But unfortunately, his looking to jump short routes too often left the deep part of the field vulnerable. Here he is trying to stop after trying to jump this short route here. And Nicole Hartman, who's already ran past LaMarcus Joyner, is going to be open D. The touchdown doesn't count because of a penalty, but this is an error Harris makes too often. Stuff like that is why fellow safety Jonathan Abram didn't trust him to do his job, so went to do it for him. And in doing so, he didn't do his job, costing the team a touchdown. Here they are in the cover two where Harris has deep responsibilities here, but he fades that way first, and Abram tries unsuccessfully to cover for him in his zone. And Pro Football Focus gave Abram credit for giving up that catch. Abram doesn't need help looking bad. Harris is an up man here, but this is still a cover two. Harris has deep responsibilities, but he's chasing a receiver that the corner already has. You have T.Y. Hilton running free, and Abram looks bad because he's trying to cover for him again. My apologies for blaming Abram when I did a video on him earlier. Here's a similar look with Abram as an up man this time, but he does what he's supposed to do on the play. Harris doing the right things doesn't prevent bad things from happening either. He doesn't have the range to prevent those bad things from happening. He couldn't even get over there on time to make the tackle. If you're a single high safety, you can't get over in time to prevent the deep catch. You at least have to be able to make the tackle. Plays like that prevent you from winning close games and make comfortable games closer than they should be. Watch this. As soon as Diggs gets to Harris' zone, we already know how the play is going to end. Oh, hit him with the dub. Now this play is on our net coming with his man in motion, but it didn't have to be a touchdown. An NFL free safety should make that tackle 10 times out of 10. Alright, Trayvon Mullen is going to give up the catch on this dig route, but Harris has to make this tackle. This is what happens when you have a career special teams player playing free safety in the NFL. On this one, Harris is lucky his teammates were there to back him up after he misses this tackle. These are the kind of things that won't be happening this year. Merrick, the 2021 second round pick, is a straight ball hawk I can't wait to see in silver and black. Hayward, the free agent pickup, will be the teacher and mentor in that cornerback room. And if I had to guess where he was going to play, I would say the slot, where he was all world at one time. No longer will we be seeing Joyner blaze in the slot. Or Harris allowing already bad plays to get even worse. So expect big improvement in the Raiders secondary. Thank you for watching. See you next time.